Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Everyday. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a new Gmail email account from scratch. It's really quite simple to do, so let's jump over to my computer and dive right into it. All right, so I've gone ahead and loaded up my browser here. I'm using the Chrome browser, but of course you could do this in any browser, Mozilla or Edge, etc. Now, I do wanna mention this is a little bit easier if you're not logged into a Gmail or a Google account on your system. Ideally, you're logged out because we do need to go to gmail.com and if you're logged in, it'll take you right into that email. So we wanna make sure we're logged out. Alternatively, you could use an incognito window like I'm using right now that's not logged into anything. And if you wanna do that, just head on down to your Chrome kind of icon here at the very bottom and we're gonna right click on that, not left click, but right click and you should see new incognito window here. If I left click on that, it'll bring up an incognito window or tab that we can use alternatively. So what we wanna do up here in our address bar at the top, we're gonna go ahead and type in gmail.com. So right here in the address bar and we'll hit enter. And this will take us to where we can create an account. Now, again, if you were logged into a Gmail account, it would take you right into your email. So that's where we need to be logged out. Now, if you're still struggling with this, you could go ahead and do a Google search for create Gmail account. And through Google help here, you can create an account as well. It just says create an account and this would take us to where we could create an account or log in. So let's jump back over to the tab where we typed in gmail.com here at the top. And you can see it says create an account right here. We'll go ahead and left click on that. It's gonna actually ask us what type of account we're creating. So there's a couple options here. There's for my personal use and then there's for my work or business. Now there are some premium paid options in work or business. We're not gonna be doing that today. We're gonna to be doing the free account, my personal use. So we'll go ahead and left click on that. And now it's gonna start creating a Google account for us. Now right here, we can go ahead and put in our first name and our last name is optional. I'm actually creating this for a test account. So I'm gonna do Northern Viking test, but you can go ahead and put your first name in there or whatever name you like. We'll go ahead and hit next. And from here, it's gonna ask for more basic information. So we can do our birth month, the day and year, as well as select our gender. So I'll go ahead and put in my birth information. And then from there, we can go ahead and hit next. And now it's gonna give us some options for an email address that it thinks might be what we're looking for. So Northern Viking test one at gmail.com, Northern Viking test at gmail. I think that's probably what I'm looking for. Or we can create our own Gmail down here. I'm gonna go ahead and left click on that. But if one of those is what you're after, go ahead and select it. But I'll select this one here at the bottom. And it's gonna get us to type in a Gmail address here. Now, if we type in um, something that's already taken, maybe I'll type in Michael at gmail.com and hit next. You can see it goes red around the perimeter showing that that's not available. So I'll go ahead and type in the Gmail address that I would like to use here. So I'm going to type in Northern Viking test and my email address will end up being Northern Viking test at gmail.com. If I hit next here, it'll take us to the next page where we can create a password. So it says to create a strong password with a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll need to put in our password here and then confirm it. So I'll go ahead and do mine. And then if you wanna show them, you can go ahead and click in this box and it will reveal them. We'll go ahead and hit next. And then it wants to confirm that we're not a robot. So it says get a verification code sent to your phone. So we can go ahead and select our country here put in our phone number and it's gonna text us a code so we can verify. So I'll go ahead and put in my phone number. And then from there, we'll go ahead and hit next. And I should get a code here sent to my phone. There it is. And we'll just go ahead and type that in here. And then once you've done that, we'll go ahead and hit next. And then we can also add a recovery email address here. So if we lose access to the account, we can use that for recovery. So this is a good place that you would put in another email address that they can send that recovery to, or you can go ahead and skip this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in an email address here. 
And then we'll just go ahead and hit next. It'll say review your account info with all of your information there. And then we'll go ahead and hit next again. There's the privacy and terms. You can go ahead and read through that. And once you've done that, just hit I agree. And it should take us right into our Gmail account where we can start composing emails, receiving emails. I just got one from the Google community here and we are all set up. So now if I just go to gmail.com here, it should take us right in. There we go, it'll take us right into our email account. And really it's that easy to set up a new Gmail account from scratch here on your computer.